guess what, folks? It's not just a story. It's real. Brace yourselves for this incredible tale. The reentry process, something we've never witnessed before in the first two integrated test flights of Starship, actually took place. Yep, you heard me right. And guess what? It wasn't just a fluke. It was Flight 3, where SpaceX once again wowed us with yet another miraculous feat involving Starship. So buckle up and get ready for today's episode of Great SpaceX, where we're diving deep into the thrilling world of Starship's atmosphere reentry and other mind-blowing achievements related to S-28. Let's just see how far SpaceX and Starship have come on this exhilarating journey. SpaceX's journey with the Starship IFT-3 took flight on the memorable morning of February 14th, which is coincidentally SpaceX's founding date, drawing from the valuable lessons of the two 2023 flights, anticipation was high for this mission. Similar to its predecessor, IFT-2, the initial stages of the flight proceeded smoothly, with all engines operating optimally. A pivotal moment arose when SpaceX successfully reignited the engines in the Super Heavy booster after hot staging, a remarkable achievement in of itself. However, as the booster neared its much-anticipated soft landing, tragedy struck. Technical issues with the engines thwarted the landing, resulting in a heartbreaking explosion at an altitude of 462 meters. Despite the setback with Booster B-10, our focus shifts to the resilient protagonist of today's narrative, S-28. Separating from its troubled counterpart, S-28 pressed on undeterred, continuing its awe-inspiring journey towards orbit. With most tasks completed, S-28 gracefully executed belly flip maneuvers before embarking on the treacherous atmosphere re-entry process at approximately T plus 46 minutes 12 seconds, hovering 100 kilometers above Earth's surface. As we reach this critical juncture, the Starship's heat shield side begins to illuminate with mesmerizing pink light rays. What you're witnessing is the effect of plasma formation, a result of the intense friction generated as the Starship hurtles through the atmosphere at breakneck speeds. These ethereal light rays grow increasingly prominent as the Starship descends to lower altitudes. According to insights shared by Andrew Higgins on his X account, this phenomenon occurs because the spacing between molecules, known as the mean free path, or MPH, diminishes with altitude. As a result, the shock wave diffuses and spreads more expansively. For instance, at 100 kilometers altitude, the mean free path measures 15 centimeters, shrinking to just 10 at 98 kilometers. By the time the Starship reaches 80 kilometers, this parameter dwindles to less than 0.5 five centimeters, half a centimeter. Meanwhile, even as the re-entry commences, the Starship maintains a staggering velocity of over 26,700 kilometers per hour, a speed that subjects it to temperatures exceeding 1,430 degrees Celsius or 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit, perilously close to its maximum threshold of 1,482 degrees Celsius or 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like a well-oiled machine, smooth sailing all the way. Throughout the connection phase, the heat shield system functioned flawlessly, acting as a stalwart guardian for the ship during its harrowing re-entry. It's evident that SpaceX has invested considerable effort in enhancing the heat shield system following the setbacks of the two previous flights. While those flights didn't progress to the re-entry stage, they provided invaluable learning experiences for the SpaceX teams. Over the past few months, SpaceX has implemented numerous upgrades, including changes to the tile layout and arrangement, reinforcements of the nail system for a more secure connection, and more. Prior to liftoff, particularly after the wet dress rehearsal test, SpaceX meticulously inspected two stages, with S-28 receiving special attention for heat shield system checks. These efforts paid off handsomely, as evidenced by the effective protection afforded to the ship during one of the most challenging phases. Moreover, this re-entry showcases another remarkable feat of the Starship. Unlike most other other vehicles, which often lose communication due to the extreme temperatures and plasma field interference, Ship 28's communication system stood firm, delivering stunning re-entry images. This underscores the impressive capabilities of the Starlink system developed 
by SpaceX, not only capable of providing high-speed internet and reaching remote areas, but also demonstrating resilience in hostile environments like never before. But even though they portrayed valiant efforts, SpaceX faced a setback as the splashdown process for the ship couldn't be completed. Approximately four minutes into the descent at around T plus 49 seconds and at an altitude of 65 kilometers, the intense heat likely led to the failure of the Starlink system, resulting in the loss of connection with the ground. SpaceX later confirmed the unfortunate event, indicating that the vehicle likely exploded, thereby concluding the mission prematurely. It's a somber moment, especially considering that there were only 15 minutes left before S-28 was scheduled to splash down in the Indian Ocean. Nonetheless, amidst the disappointment, this stands as a significant milestone for SpaceX's ongoing system upgrades. The atmosphere re-entry phase poses formidable challenges for any spacecraft, making progress in this realm a noteworthy achievement for the Starship system compared to its previous endeavors. With bated breath, we await the next flight, eagerly anticipating the moment when SpaceX and Starship will conquer this mission in its entirety. In addition to showing Showcasing its re-entry capability, SpaceX achieved significant milestones with S-28 on this flight. First and foremost, SpaceX successfully reached orbit, marking a pivotal moment in the Starship project. This achievement holds immense significance, especially considering the skepticism surrounding Starship's inability to reach orbit in the initial launches. However, SpaceX has effectively dispelled all doubts, proving the capabilities of their system. By attaining orbit, SpaceX establishes a solid foundation for pursuing and ambitious future endeavors. Another noteworthy accomplishment is the successful testing of the payload door system, conducted at approximately T plus 28 minutes, 22 seconds. No incidents were reported during this test, indicating flawless operation of the system. Testing the payload door is crucial for evaluating Starship's ability to deploy future payloads during actual missions. With this successful test, anticipation builds for the integration of payloads in the upcoming flight IFT-4. The third remarkable achievement of SpaceX's Starship mission is the successful testing of the propellant transfer demo, specifically from the header tank to the main. Although we didn't directly observe this process and the data is still under analysis, SpaceX's confirmation of its completion, along with the ship's stable state after reconnecting for re-entry, instills confidence in its success. This milestone serves as a promising indication and lays a crucial foundation for SpaceX to develop a refueling system from ship to ship in future flights. An important factor for the success of Artemis 3 missions involving Starship HLS. Despite these advancements, it's somewhat disappointing that SpaceX didn't conduct another planned test, reactivating the Raptor engine in space. This procedure was intended to occur before the ship entered the re-entry phase. However, SpaceX has deferred this test to future flights, possibly to prioritize focus on the re-entry process thereafter. Nevertheless, this setback doesn't significantly impact the flight's overall success. Looking ahead, we remain hopeful that SpaceX will successfully complete this test in the next flight, further enhancing the capabilities of the Starship. Indeed, the success of Starship IFT-3 heralds a multitude of promising opportunities for the future. For SpaceX, it signifies a continued demonstration of their unparalleled prowess in the aerospace industry. With Starship now officially joining their orbital fleet alongside the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon, SpaceX Texas dominance appears poised to endure for the foreseeable future. While their previous rockets have already secured a stronghold in the orbital launch market, the advent of Starship, markedly more potent and progressively advancing, propels SpaceX closer to industry leadership. Elon Musk's confident tweets following the Flight 3, such as, Yesterday was one step closer to life on Mars, and Starship will be on Mars within five years, reflect the profound influence of this recent success and reaffirm Starship ship's trajectory towards SpaceX's ultimate goal, Mars colonization. Moreover, this achievement serves as a potent message from SpaceX to its competitors, including Vulcan Centaur and New Glenn. In addition, SpaceX's dominance extends even to Chinese competitors, firmly establishing itself as the most powerful methane rocket. For NASA, the success of Starship instills greater confidence in their plans, particularly in the Artemis Project, a joint endeavor with SpaceX. 
Olympics. Through Starship's participation in Artemis 3, slated for September of 2026, which aims to land humans on the moon for the first time in over half a century, the future appears bright. With Flight 3's recent progress, the path forward for both NASA and SpaceX has become increasingly optimistic, setting the stage for a new era of space exploration and discovery. Once again, let's extend our heartfelt congratulations to SpaceX for their remarkable achievements. From the meticulous payload door check to the successful refueling transfer and the breathtaking atmosphere re-entry, each accomplishment underscores SpaceX's unrivaled prowess in the aerospace industry. Now, all eyes within both SpaceX and the broader aerospace community are eagerly fixed on the horizon of Flight 4. This upcoming mission holds the promise of yet more extraordinary feats from Elon Musk and his dedicated team. With each milestone reached, the dream of humanity becoming an interplanetary species draws nearer. And in this bold endeavor, there can be no doubt that Starship will serve as our vessel carrying us ever closer to the stars. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.